Okay, we're going to fill a UASA battery up. This is a battery from my motorcycle, YTX-12 BS. Um, ordered this from Power Sports, I believe. Uh, came, but was not charged. I thought it would come charged. It didn't. So, uh, not only do you have the battery, but they also send you the acid. And uh, here's a picture of the acid. You need to put it all together and get the battery going. So, I uh, did this out or, uh, at the end of my... Uh, garage, flat surface, uh, where I could kick it out in the yard in case I screwed up. Uh, these are the instructions. They're actually pretty easy to follow, but we'll see how it goes. Took a reading with the multimeter. You can see there's some voltage across it before we start, but not much. Obviously, you need to put the acid in, get the battery going, uh, to get it all going. Uh, that's uh, breath. <laughs> uh, it was about 32 degrees out at the time. So you take off the nuts and bolts. You'll need these later to attach the batteries to the cable um, in your motorcycle. Once you get those off, you're going to take off that red strip of foil. Now, as I took off that red strip, it makes a uh, little sound like a pop bottle opening when you open it. And that surprised me a little bit. So uh, you just want to be aware of that. Not a big deal. So you can see uh, I'm doing it here. And oh, the surprise. Uh, so go ahead and take off that foil. And inside you'll find... Uh, six holes and these are where you're going to put the acid in. Uh, they're kind of at an angle because it will pop the foil that you will see on the top of the acid here. So that's the sulfuric acid that you're going to use. And looking in there you can see the little uh, uh, raised angled pieces. So go ahead and remove the black piece but you want to make sure that you save that because that will go on top of the battery later. And when you do that you will expose just foil coverings on top of all the little tubes. So what you're going to do is you're just going to turn it upside down and push it in. And watching you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of strength. You want to make sure you have it nice and straight though. Yeah, easy enough. I don't see how you can do this wrong, but they say watch for bubbles to make sure everything is working correctly. You can see bubbles on the right there, but not in the other ones. So you don't need bubbles in all of those little tubes. The main thing is you just want to make sure they're all going down at the same time, which they are there. So I think it all works out in the battery. It's not a big deal. It says it'll take this 20 minutes to do. Didn't take 20 minutes. About five minutes later, it looked across. You could see all the acid was taken out. So uh, took it off carefully, put it in a plastic bag just to make sure. But uh, quite honestly, I didn't see any spillage or any drops coming out after I had done this. So it's a pretty clean process. Now. After you get that done, you want to put that back on loosely. Just lay it on top. Make sure nothing gets in there and wait 30 minutes for the electrolyte to, uh, well, for the acid to get into the battery and work its way around. So after that, I went ahead and tested it, and you can see that it tests over 12 volts. When you look at the video online from UASA, it says you can go ahead and run with it. But in the instructions, it says to charge it. So I took my nice cheap charger that I got at Batteries Plus. It's my battery tender. Make sure black goes to negative and red goes to positive. And then uh, I'm just going to charge it until the light turns green and I'm ready to go. 90 minutes later I got a flashing green light that says the battery is ready to go. So uh, unplug the charger and uh, I'm ready to go. Go ahead and test it with the multimeter, see if I ain't see any difference. Good, I got a nice 13.4 volts. Uh, that's excellent. This battery should be ready to go. The last thing you want to do is go ahead and put that black plastic strip back on. Now it says don't use a hammer, but I have to admit I was pushing as hard as I possibly could to get that down level and flush. I want it to be flush with the top of the battery, and it was difficult. But uh, once you do that, uh, you may need a little assistance, uh, but go ahead and push hard. Once you do that, your battery will be uh, ready to go. Just want to make sure it's all clean. So once that is done, your battery is set to go. Go ahead and install it in your motorcycle and go have a ride. Hope this helped a little bit. Take care.